Velocicoaster Coaster is arguably the most intense roller coaster at Universal Orlando Resort, and I have been lucky enough to ride it four times over the last month. Now, I myself am a big fan of roller coasters, but when it comes to new roller coasters out there, especially ones that go really fast and are really tall, I tend to get a little nervous from time to time. And the very first time I rode the Velocicoaster, Coaster, I have to admit, I was absolutely terrified. I have seen a lot of chatter online of people asking other people who have already ridden the Velocicoaster Coaster whether or not it is scary and whether or not it is suitable for people who don't really care too much for roller coasters but are really interested in it. And I've seen a lot of mixed opinions. The Velocicoaster Coaster is by no means a coaster meant for first timers. It is really intense. It is arguably the most intense roller coaster at Universal Orlando, rivaling the intensity of the Incredible Hulk coaster. In this video, I'm going to do my absolute best to quell any fears that anyone might have about riding Velocicoaster. We're going to be going through this coaster scene by scene, element by element, so that way you guys know exactly what to expect when riding this attraction. Also guys, spoiler warning ahead, I am going to be showing bits and pieces of an on-ride POV of the Velocicoaster throughout this video, so if you don't want to be spoiled, then you should probably click off this video now or just listen to the audio only. Also guys, before we get into it, if you are new around here, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel if you enjoy today's content and you want to see more videos like it in the future. But with that being said, let's get started. So let's start off with some statistics of the Velocicoaster. It is 155 feet tall and has a top speed of 70 miles an hour. It also features four inversions, which means that you will be going upside down a maximum of four times on this ride. When you board the Velocicoaster, you are going to be pulling down on some overhead restraints. However, these do not rest on your shoulders. These restraints will be sitting down on your lap. Now, online, I have been seeing a lot of people complain about the restraints and whether or not they feel secure or safe on this ride. I can assure you these restraints are safe. You are not going to fly out of this ride. These restraints are made to rest on your lap and when you board the ride the attraction attendants are going to make sure to push down as hard as they can on your lap bar and as we call it in the coaster industry staple you into your seat so that way you're not going to be going anywhere. Now I do want to say right off the bat that you will be getting a lot of airtime on this ride. Your butt will be coming out of your seat quite a few times along the course of this ride. Now in the coaster industry we call this ejector airtime where you are going to be thrown out of your seat and pushed back into it within less than a second if that. It is going to be really quick and you will be feeling this a lot throughout the course of the ride. Pulling out of the station, you're going to make a quick right and left turn where you are met with your first 50 mile an hour launch. After the 50 mile an hour launch, you are immediately going to be thrown into your first inversion, followed immediately by a second inversion. Following that second inversion, you're going to be met with a quick series of turns, dips, and dives. For some people, this is the best part of the attraction. With all these quick turns, you are going to get a lot of ejected airtime around each and every turn and around each and every bump. This section is really quick and it does not slow down for anything. And then before you know it, you are in the straightaway for that 70 mile an hour launch. And guys, this launch is intense. The coaster is already going fast enough as it is and then when you hit that straightaway and go into that 70 mile an hour launch it takes your breath away but by no means do you feel like you left your stomach back at the other end of the track it's not that kind of launch it is smooth it is quick and it gets you up 155 feet in the air into that top hat which for some people may be the scariest part of the ride but I promise you it is not once you get up to the very top of that top hat I encourage everybody to open their eyes and to take a quick look around because the view is absolutely incredible. If you're sitting in the front row, you're going to get a little bit of ejected airtime when you get to the very top of the top hat. If you're in the back row, you're going to get some floater airtime going up to the top and you're going to get out of your seat a little bit on your way down that drop. So just bear that in mind when deciding on where to sit. Now, as soon as you finish that drop and get to the very bottom comes the next element, which is going to be the stall. This is arguably the most talked about element on the ride where riders are thrown upside down for a solid two or three seconds before being thrown right back around. 
Now for me, this was the element that worried me the most. I have never experienced an element like this where I was thrown upside down for such a long period of time. And for a lot of people, this is where the lap bar comes in and where people are worried the most. And for pretty good reason. It's a lap bar only and you're staying upside down for a solid couple of seconds. And I do have to say, I was very surprised. On my very first ride through, I was very shocked to feel myself staying planted in my seat. And it wasn't until the very end that I felt like my butt was coming out of the seat. But before you even realize that you're coming out of your seat, you're already thrown right side round and you are hitting those next series of turns. Now after exiting the stall, you're going to go through a quick series of turns that are very capable of giving you quick pops of airtime. And then following that, you're going to hit the last element of the ride, which in my opinion was honestly the most terrifying. And I was not expecting this to be the most terrifying part of the ride. You hit what is called the Mosasaurus roll or a heart line roll right over the water. This element is viewable from almost any part of Islands of Adventure. It is a really quick barrel roll over the water. And guys, I got to be honest with you this was the most terrifying part of the ride if there is anything that you guys should be worried about on this ride it is this mosasaurus roll or heartline roll over the water i felt like the ride was actively trying to throw me out of my seat it is so quick and so sudden that you feel like you are literally being thrown out of the ride this is the one part of the attraction where i highly recommend that if you are scared hold on tight hold on to that lap bar and if you want to tuck your legs underneath the seat you are able to tuck your legs under a few times that is how I get through the Velocicoaster whenever I get terrified of some airtime tuck your legs underneath that seat when you get to the Mosasaurus roll I promise you if you don't tuck your legs underneath the seat and if you have your hands up you are going to be scared for your life for a quick second I have heard this from many people this element is no joke there is nothing else to worry about on this attraction except for this roll. I cannot stress this enough that this is what is going to terrify people the most on this ride and it is a very unexpected surprise too. I expected a regular barrel roll like I've experienced on other roller coasters but no this heartline roll was genuinely terrifying. Following that heartline roll you make a quick series of turns again before entering the final break run for the attraction and other than that you're done. In total, this ride takes about a minute and a half from the time you reach the station to the time you hit the final break run. And honestly, the whole experience goes by so quickly that you don't even have time to process what you just went through. This ride is non-stop from the first launch to the final break run. And it's honestly the greatest ride at Universal Studios right now, in my opinion. I absolutely adore this roller coaster. I was honestly terrified of the drop more than anything the first time I rode it. But the drop was not bad at all. I went down that drop and I didn't get that falling sensation. I didn't feel it in my stomach like I do on some other attractions. In my honest opinion, the drop on Jurassic Park River Adventure is a lot more terrifying and more intense than the drop on the Velocicoaster, which really surprised me. Even though the Velocicoaster is the most intense roller coaster in Universal Studios, in my opinion, it is honestly not that terrifying. It is such a quick ride that before you even realize what happened it's done and you will not regret riding this attraction guys I promise you if you are remotely terrified I promise you you're not going to regret your decision to ride the Velocicoaster I have yet to hear any negative reviews from anybody who came off the ride everyone has been able to give such high praise to the Velocicoaster after experiencing it and I just wanted to make this video to quell any fears that you guys might have about this ride because honestly this ride ride is very well worth it. And if you are anywhere remotely interested in riding roller coasters, then the Velocicoaster is a definite must do for you. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this video down in the comments section below. If you have ridden the Velocicoaster already, leave your thoughts and experiences down in the comments section below to help other people who may be interested in hearing some second opinions from other riders on the Velocicoaster. I'm sure it will help someone out immensely in the future if they are watching this video and are slightly terrified of riding the Velocicoaster. Thank you guys so much again for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Ring that bell. Get notified whenever I upload a new video like this in the future. I hope you are all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys 
in the next video.